this video, I'm going to demonstrate how a hydronic floor heating system works. A centrally located thermostat, which displays the date, the current time and the current room temperature, is the brains behind the heating system. And for demonstration purposes, if I increase this temperature above the current temperature, the thermostat is going to call for heat, indicated by the flame icon. In this case, our in-gas internal gas boiler is going to turn on much like an instantaneous hot water system. By burning gas, it transfers the heat energy into water. With floor heating, the boiler is set to increase the water temperature to 50 degrees. The boiler has an internal pump that pumps the water through the flow and return pipes. The flow and return pipes are then connected to a manifold. The manifold is made up by the number of circuits required to heat your slab. Each circuit covers around 20 square metres using around 100 metres of pipe. There are two methods of installation when it comes to hydronic floor heating. One is in slab and the other is in screen. In slab is when the hydronic pipe is connected to a mesh within the structural slab. In screen is when the hydronic pipe is within a screen or topping slab. A pipe positioning insulated board is used for in screen. The heat energy from the hot water is transferred into the concrete slab. The heated concrete slab then radiates heat throughout your home, providing the most comfortable and energy efficient method of heating your home.